it's been a very long time since i had a great tiger sighting in ranthambore recently all my safaris in corbett went dry so i decided to explore the terai tigers in the pilibit tiger reserve so yet again i'm back with another adventure to not just see but to film and photograph properly the terai tigers of pilibit So we are at the gate of Pilibit Tiger Reserve and we are all set for our first safari. So this is my first visit to this place actually so I am really hopeful. Uh so apart from tigers there are a lot of uh, mammals that you can find over here like uh, the sloth bear uh the fishing cats are also there and uh, swamp deers are also here. In this trip I had an expert tiger tracker from Pilibit His name is Amin. Not just tigers, Amin has decent knowledge about the birds and the other biodiversity of this place. He told me a lot of otters are being seen during this time. So I was really excited to see one. For your reference, I have shared Amin's contact details in the description of this video. We have started our safari, and the habitat and the jungle is really amazing. I have Amin with me, and he is going to help me track down the tigers today. So let's see if we can uh, track down in this safari. Otherwise, we have more safaris. And you have heard from Amin already, like all the wildlife that you can get over here. I'll be also looking for some birds if possible. Uh, Spot-bellied eagle owl is one of them, and brown fish owl is uh, the other one. Uh, so let's see what we can find in this jungle. The first wildlife that we encountered is a very commoner. It was a pair of wild boars. Generally the wild boars run once they see a gypsy. However, these two were pretty bold. We decided not to waste too much time on the wild boars and explore the jungle and look for clues because without clues it is very hard. to track down the big cats we were enjoying every bit of our safari the jungle was really pretty but unfortunately there were not much wildlife around there were no alarm calls no pug marks and most certainly there were not good enough bird activities either suddenly out of nowhere three swamp francolins crossed the road and i was really not prepared to take the shot we came towards the sarada canal this particular canal is dividing the main pilibit tiger reserve in two different parts but the good thing is there is a bridge through which you can cross and access very easily both the sides the sarada canal region is very beautiful however there is a massive drawback There is a highway that gives general tourist access to this canal and forest department is not stopping them to visit this place. This is both risky for the tourist as well as for the wildlife. So this part of the jungle is very pretty. It gives you a corvet type of a vibe. I'll show you. It's a very nice habitat. Pretty dense though. We got some pug marks in this particular area, but uh, they were not fresh. So still we don't have any clue but uh, yeah uh, once you are in the jungle you must enjoy the jungle first and then whatever comes that's a bonus to be honest While we were looking for the clues my guide Amin got a call from a fellow guide and got to know 
that a tiger is being seen. So we rushed our gypsy to that spot. So before we reached this spot, uh, one gypsy actually saw the tiger and it was a sub-adult male. His name is Rocket. So three gypsies are waiting at this spot. We are hoping for the tiger to cross actually. So let's see. So these people have already seen it and we just missed it. So we'll just wait here for a while and let's see what happens. We waited at that spot for a while and then all other gypsies came also to that same spot. The tiger that was seen is a very shy tiger, hence the name Rocket. The moment you see him and he sees the gypsy, he runs like a rocket. I told my guide Amin not to waste our time over here and move to the other spot where the female tigress and her cubs are being seen. So we are in this tarmac road right now and so this is the territory of a female tigress and she also has cubs. So we are going to try for that because I am least interested about that very shy male. Uh, that male is running away from just one gypsy. So there are seven eight gypsies right now. So it is definitely not gonna give good sighting. So let's see what we have in store for us in this particular zone. After coming to this spot, I found one of my target species, a smooth coated otter. While I was clicking this otter, I heard a peafowl with alarm calls. So I asked Amin to look around. And finally, after five minutes of looking around, we tracked down that female tigress and she came out from the bushes on the main road. We were the only gypsy in this spot since every other gypsy was waiting for Rocket to come out and of course he did not came out as I expected. She came towards our gypsy head on. Head on. She marked her territory. She walked in front of us and she made sure that we had an amazing sighting. I am not sure why she does not have a name. She definitely deserves to have one. She is definitely one of the most beautiful tigress I have seen in the wild. So I decided to give her a name. I decided to call her Mirana, a name that she truly deserves. It resonates her aura and definitely her beauty. I'm not sure if anybody else is going to call her by that name. It doesn't really matter to me. She was Mirana for me only. And I don't mind if anybody else call her by that name either. I got a lot of good photos as well. If you want to check out those photos, make sure that you follow me in Instagram as well. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, I'll request you to please subscribe to the channel and support my work. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.